Hi everyone, it's Leilani. Welcome back to my channel. So today we are going to be working in my media journal. So if you guys have not seen any of these videos before, I have several on the channel. I'll link them below, but I have this little Heidi Swap Storyline Chapters mini album. So it's roughly a five by seven and I've been using it over the past several months to document like some of the media that I've been consuming throughout, you know, the month. So um, I started it in August and I kind of have been doing these in sets of four. So I kind of roughly counted out the pages today and I think that I will be able to go until this August. So I thought that that would be pretty cool. I'll have an entire year of some of the media that we have watched and read and listened to and all of that kind of good stuff um, throughout the year. So the first thing I'm doing really quick is I grabbed a couple of sheets of paper from that Park Lane paper pad from Joanne and I'm just covering the outside front and back covers and also the inside front and back covers with um, a piece of kind of a, a colorful polka dot. I really love that pattern a lot. It almost looks like it's like hand drawn little polka dots like they're not perfect which I really love and then I just use some random old washi to cover the spine. So I'm going to probably put the title on the outside, but I actually have some more um, Dymo label tape coming in the mail, hopefully this week. So I'll probably just go ahead and add on like media journal or something to the outside of the album as well. So one thing about all of these things that we will be documenting today are I gave them five star ratings. So these were some of my favorite things that I have been consuming over the past couple months. So the first thing that I'm going to talk about is the Righteous Gemstones. Now this is probably, um, if not our favorite show, definitely one of mine and Will's favorite shows. We love Danny McBride and Walton Goggins. So it's just super good. It's funny. And it's a show that we can't wait to watch together on Sundays. It just wrapped up the second season. It's on HBO and it's really good. So um, I was excited to document this in my album because the first season had you know, we had long watched that whenever I created this album. So I haven't documented the show yet um, in here. So just like all of the other ones, basically what I started off with was one of the uh, cards, the three by four cards from In a Creative Bubble. This is a really old like media themed kit that I bought from them like maybe a couple years ago. And I just saved these cards to my photos and then I print them off at whatever size I need. So in this case, they are five by sevens. And then I just cut them out. I'm printing them off on just standard computer paper, like the regular really thin paper so that I can hopefully avoid adding a ton of bulk into this um, Heidi Swap Storyline Chapters album. So then once I print it off the size that I want it, I do just save the photos of whatever uh, books or movies or TV shows that I'm going to be documenting and print those off. And then I'm kind of using the same stamp sets throughout the entire album to keep kind of a consistent vibe going on. So I'm using this older um, alpha stamp set from Citrus Twist, I believe. So this was a stamp set I must have gotten in one of their monthly kits a long time ago and then the other one that's kind of tv show themed that is an older one from paper person from whenever i used to get their kits as well so another kind of consistent thing i always add a label and then i am using this star stamp that i have which i think is also from paper person and i always add in my star rating on the label which is one of my favorite things to do so i've found um especially with starting to read books lately i have a goodreads account and i've been really trying to up my reading game as you guys know if you saw my reading journal a few videos back and um i found that i really love rating things it's so fun so um i also love rating things in this album so what I did was I just picked a few little stamps off of that paper person stamp set that I thought would work. I love that stamp set. It is so perfect for documenting TV shows and movies and stuff like that. And it just has some of the perfect little sentiments. So I added the hearts because it is one of my favorites. And then I added one that we love to watch together because me and Will um, do always watch this show together. Then, of course, I have a few 
little um, stars that I've punched out previously that I always just keep on my desk. So I'm using kind of the colorful ones for this one. And then after I added my journaling, everything is set and ready to go. So I will just adhere it right into my album. And it's as easy as that. So I love this project because it's super simple and it can be done quickly without that many supplies, just a couple stamp sets and very minimal like paper and stuff. And if I print out everything beforehand, like my book covers or TV show little promotional posters or whatever, and print out these in a creative bubble cards, it goes by super quickly, which I love. So for this one, we're actually using the currently listening card again. So I definitely don't use this one near as much as the watching. So if you noticed on the watching card, you can choose between TV show or movie. And then on the listening, you can choose between music, audiobook, or podcast. So I love that option. It covers a lot of ground for different things that you might be consuming. So for this one, I wasn't sure if I was going to document any books in here because I am doing the reading journal. I did document a book, like I think it was the second thing that I documented in this album way before I ever made the reading journal. But this was a five-star read, one of my favorite things that I've read so far. So I thought that I would go ahead and throw it into this album as well. And I did listen to it um, as an audiobook. So I thought, why not? I'm going to document it. So once again, same kind of thing. I added in my photo and then I am adding in my title right up here at the top, which is of course the uh, title of the book we write upon sticks. So this is a really cute book. If, um, if you're looking for something to read, it's basically about a, uh, field hockey team. It's mostly girls. There is one boy on the team, but a field hockey team from, I think, 1989. And in order to try to win games, they basically do, they live by Salem, Massachusetts. So they kind of channel in the like witches from Salem's past and they use kind of black magic to win games and kind of, uh, complete other things in their life as well. So it's a really cute like coming of age story, but it's funny and um, it has the the magical element. So I just thought it was a great, great story. So I definitely recommend this one. So whenever I'm doing two of the pages next to each other, I tend to make them match as best I can. So for instance, this label, I tried to do two blue labels and then I went ahead and stamped out a couple of those little tickets that I cut out of the pattern paper so I added them on each page so I just try to do a little bit to make them match somewhat I usually use the same um, ink colors and stuff like that just so there's a little bit of continuity between the two pages I am going to do a little pop of pink here with another one of these Catherine Pooler inks and do a little arrow. And that's basically because I didn't have anything else to journal and I just wanted to fill in that little space. I also love the icons that are on that paper person stamp set. So for the Righteous Gemstones, I use the hearts. But on this one, I use the little whistle, which I thought was really cute because it is about the field hockey team. And I am going to use that whistle again on this next one because the next thing that we will be documenting is Ted Lasso. So it works out great as well. So I was really excited to finally watch this show. Um, it's very good. My mom has been telling me to watch it for probably months now and it's always been something that I wanted to watch but I just never have really done it yet you know and actually I hadn't really checked out Apple TV much but me and Will started to watch a show on there called Severance which is really good it's kind of a thriller type thing mystery thriller and um, Ted Lasso is also over on Apple TV so I thought I would give it a try if you haven't watched it it is so good it's a feel-good show but it's funny and it just is like I have honestly teared up and shed a few tears um, for several episodes <laughs> I'm now in the second season this is all about the first season but just a really great show. I can definitely see how it, it is like a comfort show that you could just turn on at any time and watch an episode and just get all the feels. So I definitely recommend this one as well. So once again, same kind of thing. I add the little star to the top to uh, pick whichever thing uh, this particular 
show is or movie is that I'm watching. So I will indicate that at the top. And then of course I added on my title of Ted Lasso. And then I'm just picking out a few stamps here that I thought would work. And that's how cool this stamp set is. There's such a variety. So like I chose um, comfort show or comfort watch for this one, which it definitely is. And then they have a lot of these little words that you can add like tear jerker. So I had to add that one. And then actually this stamp set is a different one. And I believe I looked it up for someone recently. And I think that it is a Kelly Perky stamp set before paper person if I'm not wrong. I think I tried to find it and I don't know that it is like you know being made anymore but it's pretty old but I like this one too because it kind of has that media vibe as well and a couple of the um, stamps say thumbs up and liking so I put those on the pattern paper as well cut those out so I'm going to add thumbs up over here and then I'll save the other one for the next thing that we document. So once again, like I said, I'm going to use that little whistle up here at the top again because it works for this one as well. And then I will add in a few of my stars and add in my journaling. So I've just really been enjoying this album. It's a fun little thing to, like I said, if I just want to do something kind of quick and easy where I don't really have to super think of like a layout or have a lot of photos, you can just grab these photos off of the internet but I love documenting things like this because I feel like media that we consume is so much of our lives you know it kind of forms our personalities and it is a way that we connect to other people and connect to our families and it's just a huge thing that can thrill us and can scare us and can like make us cry or make us feel things so I love documenting things like this and it's really fun kind of to go back and of course see your rating and also remember these shows that had like an impact on you one way or the other even if they're a one star or if they're a five star I just think that it's fun to go back and kind of see what you were watching and how you felt about it so got that one done. I'm just kind of flipping through here and then we will move on to the last one. So this last thing that I've been watching is How I Met Your Father, which I personally have really enjoyed. So actually I am kind of prematurely doing this one. Um, I'm pretty sure the next episode that comes on this next week is the finale episode, but I already know that I think it's a five-star show and that I enjoy it. So I'm just going ahead and popping it up here. So um, doing all the same things as I've been doing, but I really love this show. I was a huge fan of How I Met Your Mother, you know, before the tragic ending where they ruined it all. But um, I love Hilary Duff. I've been a huge fan of Hilary Duff like forever, of course, loved um, Lizzie McGuire. And I've just always had like a soft spot for her. She's always been my favorite actress really as long as I can remember I love the show Younger as well it's super fun if you haven't tried that one but um How I Met Your Father is just really cute there's a few nods to How I Met Your Mother but of course um it has its own vibe and its own thing going on but it's really cute it's your typical kind of corny um sitcom show but of course I think you know you're going into that when you are watching it so I have really loved it. And so I use that same stamp at the bottom, one we love to watch together, but this one's different. Will actually does not watch this with me, but I have a group chat with a few of my friends. And so every week after we watch the episode, we will like discuss it and talk about our theories about stuff or just talk about what we liked and what we didn't like. And it's been a really fun thing to do and a great way to keep up with some of my friends especially because I haven't really seen people that much I mean um ever since COVID and everything it's just kind of changed things in my life and I don't see everyone as much as I used to so I love things like the group chat to kind of bring us together so um I had to talk about that in my journaling as well and then we're just going to hear this down and I'll kind of show you some up close um little flip throughs here and then we will be done so I hope that you guys once again enjoyed this album if you did enjoy the video please give me a like and please also consider subscribing I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you next time bye y'all